So in this uh, video, we're going to solve the GCE 2017 Mathematics Paper 1 and we're going to focus on the question of variation. It's a very straightforward uh, topic. I wouldn't want us to waste much time on this. So what we're going to do is that we're just going to solve through these questions and we already have done a lot of questions in class. So this will just be like a, a quick work through the question. We'll solve through the question and then just for us to have an idea i think it's a very easy topic to understand and very straightforward topic so it's just a little bit of practice and you'll be good to go so the table below shows the relationship between two variables x and y it is given that y varies inversely as a square root of x where x is positive so when we talk about this topic uh which is variation variation simply talks about uh relationships with uh that two variables would have and those relationships could be uh, one where one increases the other one also increases which is called a direct variation or the second variation is whereby one item decreases another one increases uh, as a response that will be an inverse variation so there's also whereby one item is controlled by two uh, two variables the, that is called a uh, joint variation so those are the, just the three types of variations you should know so there's direct variation direct variation and there's inverse variation inverse and mostly it's just for you looking at uh, the the formulas for these under the joint joint variation so these are the things that you should know so Having said that, I think it's very easy for us now to uh, to get this because we've done this topic already in class and we understand what's going on, I presume. So the table below shows the relationship between two variables, x and y. So we've got x and y. It is given that y varies inversely as the square root of x. So y varies inversely. So this is what you should know. So if y varies inversely as x now here they add as the square root of x as the square root of x so where x is uh, is positive of course you can have a negative uh, square root of x you can have uh, a negative but we are talking about x being positive right here so this is a table here pretty uh, basic table where y is 2 x is 16 y is 8 x is 1 and so on and so forth so A says write an expression for y in terms of x and the constant of variation k. Okay, so when we talk about an item or the variables uh, being inversely uh, varying inversely, we're talking about uh, them having a relationship it says y varies inversely. So to show that it's inverse, it will be one over the second variable in this instant, which is x. Okay, now. This is not just x, they've said the square root of x. So it varies as the square root of x. And then this one here, we can multiply this expression by a constant, which we call the constant of variation, so we call it k. So write an expression for y in terms of x and the constant of variation k. So this is the expression because uh, y varies inversely as the square root of x, as the square root of x. So this question right here this is the expression and in return this is the answer so this is the expression Praise that word if you understand uh, the formula for an inverse variation and the formula for direct variation so direct is just one line it probably is y is equal to k times some constant or whatever expression you have for inverse is y is equal to k over whatever that you are considering whether it's x or square root of x so this is just what we use we used and let's jump to b find the value find the value of k find the value of k so we can find the value of k now this all we have to do right here is find the uh, e the e equate k as a the subject of the formula in this expression and then carry out a substitution or substitute the var the values that we have here in the table we substitute them in the equation we can do it directly or at first you can make k subject the formula so I'm just going to make k subject the formula here so say this over 1 
cross multiply and then this will be k is equal to y times the square root of x it will be y multiplied by the square root of x so i can substitute for any value so k is equals to any value of y that you have in the table i'm going to pick 8 here because the one i think it will be easier for me 8 so it will be 8 times the square root of x now for x the the corresponding value for 8 is 1 here so it will be 1 and then this is k is equals to 8 times the square root of 1 is 1 and the answer will be 8 so k is equals to 8 find the value of a so we have the value of k so this is a k this is a constant of variation now find the value of a so to find the value of a again you just uh, have to write this formula but in this case we are going to substitute x with a so we're going to write our formula which is uh, y is equals to k over the square root of x so in this case we are going to substitute x with a so what is y y is equals to 8 over 9 so it will be 8 8 over 9 is equal to k k we said is 8 so k is 8 and we divide by so i'm not going to write um anyway let me just say divide by the square root of a because in this case our x is equal to a and then right here what do we do we're going to cross multiply i'm going to cross multiply because this uh in, this in the fraction form so to be 8 times the square root of a it would be 8 square root of a is equal to 9 times 8 that gives us 72 or 72 and then right here we can divide both sides by 8 and i'll divide that side by 8 this this so we'll say the square root of a is equal to 72 divided by 8 and the answer is 9 okay the answer is 9 or oh, we could have uh Anyway, so the square root of a is equals to 9. So now how do we find a? So the square root of a is the same as well, what we can do right here. We're just going to square both sides. We square, so the square root of a, we're going to square it. And also we are going to square 9 this side. That means what we've done here, we've also done right there. So the square, when we square the square root of a, these are going to cancel each other and then we're just going to have a a is equal to the 9 squared which is 9 times 9 is equals to 81 so the value for a is 81 the value for k is 8 and the expression is y is equals to k over the square root of x so this is it and basically this is uh i, I think we, we're done with this topic we can now move on to the next topic and uh, this was just a practice question from the 2017 paper one gce and we'll see you in the next question